Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to set the time and set the automatic brew on this Cuisinart Burr Grind and Brew coffee maker. So this is a really nice coffee maker. I have a detailed review on how to make coffee with this, but in this video I'm just going to show you how to set the time and the auto brew. And then I'm also going to do another video on how to descale it. Because there's some things, there's a, there's a chute we need to clean and inside the coffee maker we got to clean it with vinegar. Okay, first let's set the time. So it only has a PM light. So hold the hour button till it starts flashing. Now you can press the hour. See how there's a PM? So if, if the time is AM, make sure the PM goes away. So right now it is 10 AM. And then you, you'd put the minutes too. Now just let it pause for a minute and it'll memorize it. Okay. Okay, so we gotta make sure the time is set correctly. Now let's set the program. So say you wanna wake up in the morning to a full pot of coffee. So press and hold this program button until the numbers start flashing. Once they're flashing, this is the time you want it to start in the morning. Again, make sure if it's AM, make sure there's no light. I want mine to start at 5, 10 AM. Now you're just going to wait. It, it'll stop flashing, but you got to do one more thing. So make sure you press this one more time. That green light has to be on when you go to bed. That way the grinder will start and it'll start brewing the coffee automatically. Now, if you don't want the grinder to start, say you're gonna put your own ground coffee in here, make sure you turn the grinder off. So if this light is lit, it's only gonna brew hot water over the coffee grounds that you have put in already. And make sure you're set this to however many, however many pots you're gonna brew or how many cups you're gonna brew and set the strength. So if you want whatever strength you want, low, medium, or high, so make sure you've got beans in the hopper. Make sure you got whatever water you put in the back. So whatever water you put back here, that's what it's gonna brew in the morning. Even though I got this selector, see I have the selector on eight, that's for the grinder. So it'll grind enough for eight cups, but if I've got a full 12 cups of water back here, it's gonna brew the full 12 cups. And make sure your craft is empty. Um, these stainless steel crafts, you can't see that, that there's coffee in there. So if there is coffee in there still and you brew a full 12 cups, it's gonna overflow and you'll wake up to a mess. And again, make sure you open this up. This, you've got a new filter in there. You can either use the permanent filter or a paper filter. So I hope this video helps. Check out my next video where I'm gonna show you how to descale. So if your coffee is not tasting as hot as it should be, or if it's taken a long time to brew, it's time to descale it with vinegar.